South Africa? According to economist Jim O'Neill, Nigeria is one of four emerging economic giants. You see, first there were the BRIC countries, a term which Jimbo here came up with, but everyone kind of got tired about hearing about those. So now it's all about Mexico, Indonesia, Nigeria, and Turkey. Given the pretty dodgy state of Western economies right now, the future is clearly gonna be kind of different. <laughs> It's the 15th of January, 2015. Time for the latest news from CNN's central headquarters in Lagos. North American migrants continue to flood into West Africa in record numbers, all in search of better lives. American President Malia Obama will release a statement later today. Interpol has begun its massive crackdown on email rackets from Europe. The scam emails, most of which claim to be from bankers who hit fortunes during the credit crunch of the early millennium, target Africans by promising them false fortunes. The Pan-African Alliance Bank has just announced a huge rescue package for some of the West's ailing economies. As part of the deal, the UK will receive 4,000 Naira, currently equal to 500 billion pounds. Actor Morgan Freeman Jr. is looking to make the jump into the big time. He's moving from Hollywood to the bright lights of Nollywood. Madonna has released a new album, and yes, at 92 years old, she's reinvented herself again under her new artist name of Mama Maj Unkosasana Wiseka Umbudelez. And this time on stage with all her adopted children. Irish singer Bono has been declared a saint by the Bono Saved Africa Foundation. And finally, at the tender age of 100, economist Jim O'Neill has become the world's first trillionaire. He marked the occasion by announcing his latest prediction of emerging economic powers. This time, it's Tahiti, Inner Mongolia, Trinidad and Tobago, and San Marino. The tits. That's it guys, my name's Ikenna Azwike, thanks for watching. Don't forget to join the What's Up Africa Facebook page, follow me on Twitter and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll see you again soon for another edition of What's Up Africa!